Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to show you what went wrong with this trimmer head. If you were following the other videos, you know that this is the neighbor's trimmer and it has had a problem with this trimmer head just feeding out string. It's when it's fully loaded with string, it just slowly feeds out the entire spool of string. Um, it was doing it in a single row in the vineyard, which is 125 feet, which is way too fast. This is 28 feet of string. So I took this in to the Husqvarna dealer the other day. Right now the string just broke, which gave me a chance to uh, stop and show you this. Here's the broken one right here. They kind of fuse together once in a while. Some people put talc on them. I'll just refeed that out and keep going. This string right here that's on there is, it's 24 feet. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to measure out that way. It's just uh, arms, you know, if I spread my arms apart that's uh, a little over six feet so this has lasted I, I did the one row in the vineyard yesterday with two spools full I went up and then down today I did or last night I did five more rows with this spool I also did this garden I did up there I did all along the back I did the back here and I got all the way over to oh, the, kind of the edge of where I've cleared so far right back there. So that is exactly what you would expect. You know, I probably still have half the string left and I'm sure it's going to last me the rest of what I need to trim. And if it doesn't, you know, big deal. It's it's behaving correctly now. So problem solved. What the problem was, let me see if I can if I can show you. Okay, where are those things? Oh, it's on this piece right here. This base piece, it has some square things that are kind of under the button. I'm not going to be able to show it to you, but there are some square things under the button that were excessively worn, and the the guy at the place had never seen that before. Usually, the entire head kind of just wears out, this whole bump head. I've replaced the one on mine. Oh. That's the second one, and I have a new one waiting for when that one wears out, which, you know, could happen any time now. They last about a year if you use it a lot. But he had never seen them tabs wear out like that, and we were kind of theorizing on it. It might have been from using too heavy a string or from using square string. These, these have to use... Uh, round string of the exact right di diameter. This is 0.095 to 0.105 is the range that it'll use. And this is the larger of the two. And this is th this is actually what's made for these machines, the Husqvarna 0.105. So with that on there, it's going to work fine for who knows how long? I mean, you might get another year out of it, but then you got to replace these every once in a while. He didn't have any of this size head because he doesn't, it's not a commercial place. This is a professional trimmer. They don't sell professional trimmers there. That's more of a forestry item. So, and I don't know why. I mean, anybody with a farm or something. It's much easier to use one like this than, than one of them little buzzy trimmers. 
but anyway it's all fixed that's that's what it was so if you ever have a trimmer that's just slowly feeding line out until it runs out chances are pretty good that it's this it's part of the button mechanism so it's in this base part but normally I don't know if you can even buy this separate that was the only part he had laying around was this he uh, well the original one the one that was on here I just left there this is one he had laying around and uh, he just gave it to me so all is well everything's working and I'm getting everything trimmed I talked about all this stuff while I was spraying down in uh, North Woods earlier today too so part of this is in that video as well um, he said the problem with this one is he said it's likely that the new carburetor I put on there is just a piece of crap and he said it's un not adjustable but it's got adjust adjustment screws but they don't seem to do much I had to screw it all the way in to like choke it down a little bit so he said best bet is to just take that this carburetor off put the original one on clean it up a bit put the original one on and if it uh, is still given problems to either rebuild it or buy a OEM carburetor what I got was oh, I believe it was eight like eighteen dollars and it had uh, like two tune-up kits plus a carburetor so yeah I should have known better that's a little uh, a little too much for the money because a uh, replacement carburetor is generally like $35 so I don't think you need to see me doing any trimming I'll show you what I'm trimming now I was literally trimming all morning that whole side of the hill over here was just loaded with this grass and up through there behind the barn all this height so it's not super easy you gotta kind of go at it midway and then work your way down to the bottom so I gotta go all the way through here all the way along the walnut bluff there I gotta do across the street yeah I got quite a bit I gotta do up by the trees and I should do along the whole fence line too so I might be doing this the entire rest of the day and there won't be a whole lot of time to video it I also went into here and trimmed the tops off of a bunch of this stuff like this this is barnyard grass I don't want this to uh, go to seed in here I left some of it I'll just come back here early in the morning tomorrow and weed and seed you know yank yank some of this out toss them on the pile and drop a few seeds in the hole got a big one there but I don't even know what that is that is not uh, yeah I don't know what that is this is barnyard grass but this isn't a weed as far as I know plenty of barnyard grass around here okay so hell of a task got way behind on this trimming and I gotta get caught up so I can get back to working on the addition so I'm gonna get the rest of this trimming done today no ifs ands or buts about it and then I gotta start back on this tomorrow when I do start back on the addition all I gotta do right now is tap it square and once I get it square I'm gonna bolt add the bolts where it's missing bolts and then uh, I gotta get the headers in and then I can go on to the top plates 
it should move along pretty quick now so let me finish up this trimming and I think the next video is going to be this oh I wanted to do a little detail video on bottle brush grass so I might toss that in um, videotape it tomorrow morning I want to do some short little videos on specific grasses or flowers or whatever so that people can either ID it if they have it in their landscape or decide whether they want to plant it in their landscape or garden or whatever. I've, I've just had a horrible time trying to find any information on some of these grasses and stuff. I mean, even finding a photograph a picture of a seedling of a lot of this stuff is nearly impossible so I'll probably throw that in there as well so make sure you subscribe and then click on the update icon so you're notified when I post these new videos if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below thanks for watching and have a great day